Hi there, I'm Lisa Skye. My whole life I wanted a dog. A dog. I love dogs. Do you like dogs? I do. We've already said that. So today we answer the question, dog. With me is Toby Halligan. Yes. And Jared Hartford. Yes. Hartford? Hmm. Hartford. Hartford. Hmm. I was answering the do I want a dog question. I, I have a dog. But you have I want, a dog? I want, I want more. Jared, you have a dog? I don't have a dog yet, but my what? partner is obsessed with a dog, needs a dog, wants a dog, and keeps sending me pictures of like, I want this dog, and this dog, and this dog, and this dog. And it's like, we don't have a big enough house for yeah. 50 dogs. Ooh. What about 49 dogs, though? <laughs> yeah. That is very achievable. 17. And, mm, mm. Hmm. What? <laughs> this is one of the misconceptions, because uh, today we're talking about uh, dog ownership, misconceptions, etc. One of them is big dogs need a lot of space. I've found greyhounds, I've got a Rottweiler Mastiff, uh, who's eight, she needs two rooms. The room you're in and another room if she gets sick of you. Mm -hmm. uh, we could easily have her in an apartment. Yeah. And Banjo? Same with Banjo. Banjo is very happy in quite small spaces, provided there aren't things looming above him, yeah. like blinds. Like ah, when yes. blinds or curtains mm -hmm. get shut near him, he's like, my God, this really weird bird, <laughs> what is happening? And he will look very worried and then he'll go into another room. Well, his interests include time. brow furrowing and sleeping. I know they do, and being, <laughs> look at concern, like what's going on, Why? I've got a concern, that's Dr. Shadow. Yeah, I've yeah. got a concern, oh, I hate you. I hate to break it to you, but I'm quite upset and yeah. hungry. Um, you, it's 17 dogs, the advantage of having 17 dogs is... They look after each other? Well, yeah. if you die, it's a new story. Yeah. <laughs> but also... I've always wanted to be, like, remembered when I die. Yeah. Why does this man it? have 17 dogs? <laughs> I have a friend who has... So our dog is a 40 kilo Rottweiler Mastiff. His dog is a 6 kilo uh, Havanese who needs an enormous back, uh, backyard because he gets the zooms. Yes. Uh, and he needs a huge house and a huge backyard. So this is my thing, is my backyard is like six by three. Mm. That's it, that's my entire that's backyard. That's fine though, like, so mm. I've had, I had a Maltese cross in a share house and it was great. I mean, he shat and pissed inside constantly, but that was because we were away and he's insane. Now he lives with my parents, <laughs> with a big backyard, but he doesn't ever want to go in the backyard. He wants mm. to be right next to them all the time, looking at them like 24 hours a day. As long as you're walking them a lot. Mm. Yeah. E even if, even if you do, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like with, with Bernie, the Maltese cross, like even that, like getting a bigger dog, even with a small yard, you can make it work. Mm. I mean, but my, my dream dog is a border collie because I have grown up around border collies okay. and they kind of do have to Yeah, have they, but that's I, harder. I mean, that is true. Do you mind a dream dog? I mean, the border collie exists. It's your dream dog. Why didn't you have a more interesting, do you know what I mean? Like, why not have like a, a griffin dog dogs. made of bubble or something like that? You know, like it's a dream. You can mm. have whatever you want. A dog dreams? made entirely of fairy floss, but if yeah. it gets wet, it doesn't disappear. Yeah. My dreams are sadly practical. Like, as we were literally just saying, we, we're the 30s club. Like, yeah. I'm a practical dream in it. I respect that. I mean, I mean I'm 38 at the time of recording, and I'd really like a dog who barks gold coins. Yeah. Well, you just need to dream it into reality, yeah? Or yeah, I'll feed I'll Dr. It. Dr. Shadow I'll gold coins. Yeah. And she's like, oh, I've got a mischief in my belly. <laughs> Chocolate gold coins, and then it will vomit up. Yeah, I know. Well, the, well, the other good, good thing them. is, like, if um, a giant dog eats a tiny bit of chocolate, they're going to be fine. Yeah. Not that I would ever feed her people food. Uh, but <laughs> what people don't know In case is, anyone out there is missing food, we don't <laughs> know what happened. <laughs> uh, with uh, rescue dogs, you often, like, you can get any type of rescue dog. Mm. I mean, you can get people like, I don't want to rescue because I want a puppy. You can get puppies, you can get purebreds, you can get all these different breeds. See, I have this ideological idea. So, Greg wants a German schnauzer, which is $5,000 dog. I don't want a $5,000 dog. Don't. Do you know what sort of dog I want? I want the $400 dog from the pound that you go and you've now saved the dog's life. And he could just calls me like stupidly idealistic. No. I'm just like, I want to go get a pretty dog and save its life. My mm. dog was free like, and she's on. the most beautiful oil painting. I want a free mm. dog. Yeah. 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 Well, a lot of them are if you go and get like a, a dog secondhand from the pound. And if you just keep looking, so if, if you're on one of the pet rescue sites, and just keep looking for your uh, purebred schnauzer, you will find one, I guarantee. Mm -hmm. And if you get an older dog, it's even better because we're all performers, mm -hmm. we're all dynamic gentlemen, we're movers, we're shakers, we're mm -hmm. heartbreakers. Yeah. We don't know where we're gonna be in five years time. Are we gonna be in Australia? Who knows? So if you get an older dog, that's instead of having a 15 year commitment, it's a five year commitment, for example, if you get like a 10 year old dog. Mm. That's awfully practical. Mm -hmm. Like it's awful. 
but and it, practical. It is awful, but it's saving a dog's life, and because that's why people don't want an old dog. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So. Also, like, I mean, I understand the love of schnauzers just because it feels like you have a German philosopher in your house. Yeah, like, and he also like, speaks German, so yeah. he he wants a dog that he can speak German too, so that it will understand him. But you can get not a me. Rottweiler. Oh, that's a great idea. You've got to do that just for the TV show, yeah? Like, that's a great... I mean, it sure. may just be a YouTube channel or something like that. Look, I'll be honest with you, you'll make no money out of no. it. But, that, but still, but yeah. still. No, I'm going to start my own YouTube channel anyway, so I need to make money from it somehow. Right. Yeah, you can monetize your dog. Mm. Yeah, well, no. You but, can't. My dog's internet famous and... <laughs> I'm going to have a I'm going to have a famous Instagram page because the two things that you must have at the moment on Instagram is plants and dogs and I'm going to combine the two so and have works. plants and dogs. <laughs> and our Instagram I'm going to make so much money from mm -hmm. it. Just you watch. Mm -hmm. Just it's a dog be munging on a cactus. Dogs, cute plants. Mm -hmm. I will have all the money and then I will buy a farm. It's going to be four acres. I'm just pulling these numbers because that's how I do it. And I'm going to have 50 dogs. Try. Plot on a map how big four acres yeah. is, mate. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, I see you're a topographer. <laughs> Checks out. Well, you heard it here, folks. If you've got a spare dog, especially a dog with a beard, take yes. it to this guy's house in West Just Brunswick. Just a loose dog. <laughs> the four-acre plot in West Brunswick? God, how much money did you have? No, it's going to be in Rutherglen, next to the wine. <laughs> wow, okay, now you are now you are dreaming. Right, this is Castle. hashtag lifestyle. You're, you're just secreting it. <laughs> Become one of those shows. What do you reckon about... Um, so my big tip for, for getting a rescue dog is we, because I'm a type A control freak, had an A4 page document going through me and my partner and the people we live with, like the facts about us. So it's like, uh, you know, if you're away eight hours a day, if they're going to be alone eight hours a day, if you want a dog, like be honest. Like if you want a dog who's non-shedding and low maintenance, because people who run rescues need that information. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And if you're honest about like, I don't want something that sheds, I don't want this, I don't want that. They're like, okay, great. Yeah. I don't want to shed and I'm about to go away for like two months and this is a recurring thing, me going away, me going away, so me going away. it could be a dog and so you need to find, I mean, I've got a Facebook group for Dr. Shadow of people to look after her if I'm That's away really and my husband's mm. on a mix because she could be alone for eight hours a day but we're soft touch gay dads mm. and we want her to be alone, uh, to, with someone at all times. Yeah. yeah. Or you could get, if you get 17 dogs, they all look after each other. Uh, yeah. They take company. They're going to learn how to feed each other and it'll be adorable. Um, go to the RSPCA and meet a few dogs and, mm. you know, and yeah, work out how much time you're going to be able to spend with them. And remember, this segment will also screen later on. So you're probably back from holiday now. So you should get a dog today. Mm. How was it? It was amazing. I did the things. Dude, what if you die? <sighs> and on that note... Time travel! Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you, Jared Herford, and thank you, Toby Halligan. I've been Lisa Skype at Ben TV.